much, now I'm swallowed. Boxing legend Mike Tyson is gearing up for a highly anticipated match against Jake Paul, scheduled for November 15th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Despite being 58, Tyson exudes confidence, describing himself as a natural-born killer, and is ready to prove he's still got what it takes to fight in the ring. This bout will be his first time back since his 2020 exhibition against Roy Jones Jr., an event that showcased Tyson's enduring power and speed over eight rounds. With the WBC ultimately declaring it a draw, Tyson's comeback has sparked intense interest from boxing fans worldwide, especially given his iconic career, where he achieved a professional record of 50-6-2 and C, and secured the WBA, WBC, and IBF heavyweight titles with knockouts over fighters like Tony Tucker, James Smith, and Trevor Burbick. Standing on the other side of the ring is 27-year-old Jake Paul, a former YouTuber turned boxer who has built a 10-to-1 record in the sport since going pro in 2020. Known as the problem child, Paul has defeated notable names in the combat sports world, including former UFC fighters like Tyron Woodley, Nate Diaz, and Anderson Silva. Paul's only professional loss came in February 2023 to Tommy Fury, who clinched a split decision win. Now, he is eager to add Tyson to his list of victories, declaring in a recent trailer, Mike, I love you, but I'm going to take your throne, brother. In the Netflix documentary teaser promoting the match, Tyson responded with his classic blend of intimidation and humor, saying, he's a manufactured killer. I'm a natural born killer. The comment encapsulates their contrasting backgrounds. Tyson, a product of the gritty boxing gyms of New York, forged a career based on sheer skill and a fierce, unfiltered mindset. Paul, in contrast, has risen through a modern media-savvy approach, where social media and celebrity status have bolstered his image as a manufactured star. Yet Paul's track record shows he's not just talk. His KO victories prove he has become a legitimate contender in his own right. Originally set to face off in July, the fight was postponed when Tyson had to pull out due to a severe ulcer flare-up, affecting his training. During his recovery, Paul pivoted to fight Mike Perry, a former UFC fighter and bare-knuckle boxer, whom he defeated in the sixth round by TKO. With Tyson now back to full health, both fighters have doubled down on their preparation for the November bout, which has captured the attention of fans and media alike. Tyson's unmatched career includes unforgettable moments like his battles against Evander Holyfield, two TKO wins over Frank Bruno, and his showdown with Lennox Lewis. Yet, he hasn't competed professionally since 2005 when he faced Kevin McBride. While some fans doubt if he can match his younger self's pace and power, Tyson's last exhibition hinted that his skills are far from fading. The upcoming bout between Tyson and Paul has all the elements of a blockbuster event, a seasoned legend with a fierce legacy and a young, brash fighter seeking to prove himself against one of boxing's greats. With contrasting styles and narratives, this clash promises to be a thrilling showdown, and the hype surrounding it suggests it may be one of the biggest boxing events of the year.